Hey, how's it going? Well, the reason for the do-rag that I've been wearing in the past few videos is uh, I'm planning on growing out my hair again, and it's going to look like shit in the process. It doesn't look that bad right now, but uh, just looking into more options for head coverings while it grows out, because it's going to look like shit for at least a couple years. Anyway, um... Well, it's been very difficult since the whole COVID thing has become such a thing. And not being able to see my friends in person, not being able to really be around people in any significant way, It's been rough on me. And there's a lot of things that I've been thinking about more than I normally do. And my mental issues in some areas have gotten a bit worse. I mean, it's better than it used to be, you know, years ago. But, yeah, some things have gotten quite a bit worse. And one of the areas that, I mean, there are people who tell me that they respect so much that I'm so introspective and they wish more people were more introspective. And it's just like, well, you don't know how far that goes. You don't know how far down the rabbit hole that goes with me. Um, I will often spend hours pacing going through scenarios, talking to people that aren't there. I know they're not there, but I've made the scenarios because it's, well, how could I have done, you know, something in the past? How could I have done this better? Or if I run into something similar in the future, how could I do this better in the future? Or what if scenarios? What if this happens? What if this happens? You know, how would I handle these situations? Pace for hours, talking to people who aren't there. It's miserable. It's a miserable existence when that goes on. And it's helpful in being creative. You know, the whole what if thing. It's helpful for writing music. But it's certainly not helpful in, in other areas. And uh, one of the things that's made it, that's reduced that kind of thing so much is YouTube. And I'm able to speak to the camera. Instead of talking to people that aren't there, well, I, I guess, I mean, I'm talking to a camera. It's not someone that's directly there, but I'm able to get out what's going through my mind, get out some of my worries get it out there and actually get feedback on it, get people's comments on it. What are other people thinking about this? And that's been very helpful to me. It's why YouTube is therapy for me. But yeah, I, I've got panic disorder. I've got OCD, which is what makes me go through the you know, go through these scenarios and constantly obsess about some whatever it is you know that's not the kind of ocd where i have to compulsively wash my hands it's thoughts obsessively thinking about things and uh some people might say i have schizophrenia because i talk to people who aren't there so And sometimes I'll be put into a scenario where I don't know how to, I just don't know how to react. 
and I'll lose my speech center entirely. You saw little bits of that in that uh, t the footage in my last video from 2017 where I was having a hard time talking. And that was the beginning of losing my speech center. That was, you know, I got out of it. Now, sometimes I can get out of it. Um, but if I don't, you know, it can last anywhere, you know, five to ten minutes where I just can't speak. I could, I could write things down. But when I try to speak, it's just like, uh, 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 you know, nothing really comes out. And when it's bad enough, tears are streaming down my face because I'm scared. Well, what if? It's the what if scenarios, you know. Uh, what if this doesn't go away? What if this is permanent? And that's, uh, yeah, it's terrifying. So... And for these mental issues, you know, I'm on, I'm on olanzapine. I'm, uh, it helps quite a bit. If I take too much, like if I take 15 milligrams, it, uh, messes with my short-term memory really bad. Um, messes with my ability be, to be creative. And it, then it causes depression. Because then I feel that I'm not worth anything. You know, what good am I when I can't really do anything? So, and if I take too little, obviously it, you know, the what if scenario thing, it gets a lot worse. So I'm on like 7.5 milligrams. And that helps. That really helps. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've got some issues. And, you know, there, there may be a number of others who are pretty introspective who go through similar things as I do. I don't know exactly, though. I don't talk about this with very many people. You know, I, I rarely talk about how how I go through scenarios and pace for hours and talk to people who aren't there. I I don't talk with this about many people because I assume that people will just think, well, that's you're you're crazy, you're you're loony. But I still try to function. I still try to participate in society. And I very much appreciate that YouTube is around to, to help me, to be therapy for me. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the input that I get. You've helped me a great deal. You, have just, you just have no idea how helpful you are. So if you've watched this whole thing, thanks so much.